Alright, what's up guys? I'm making another video on standard deviations because this is really just dropping y'all the sauce, okay? This is just the standard deviation sauce, okay? There's a few ways I mark these out, okay? And it helps me in pre-market. It helps me find take profits. It helps me find reversal points even. Um, so we all know power of three, you know, Asia will accumulate, London manipulates, New York distributes. I mean, on the higher time frame it does, okay? But if you're just looking for lower time frame PO3s, you can mark out the, um, what do you want to call it, manipulation leg of that PO3. So I see it right here. Accumulation sideways, manipulate up, sweep those highs, distribute down. What would I mark? The manipulation leg, like I said. So, and to the candle bodies, not to the wicks, to the candle bodies. Oh my gosh. I'm literally just pulling this up now. This is a fucking joke. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> negative three, perfect, to the wick. Negative 2.25 to the wick. You would uh, either take in profits here, maybe even scalp here. Um, yeah, take profits here. Uh, and it perfectly aligns with those lows too. That's pretty nice. Um, yeah, when you mark out power of 3, the levels are very accurate usually. Um, and in pre-market, I always mark out Asia Session. So here. Okay, it's big session, so this is for like huge moves here. So it's less lesser probability that it'll run to there, but if it does, it it will react. So yeah, per negative two point two five or two point five lines up perfectly with those previous London lows, and this negative three point two five is perfectly like not perfectly, but aligning with these lows. Maybe in the wick of some block, rejection blocks, some sort, I don't know. Um, yeah, so I'll mark out Asia. And I will mark out a 15 minute leg, or a 15 minute manipulation leg in London. So like, here, I would mark out, right here. Not to the wicks, to the candle bodies. Oh, would you look at that. Let's try and trade this actually. Um, yeah, so we have negative 2.25 perfectly aligning with Asia highs. Let's see what? I'm not going to trade it. I mean, I am on backtesting, but I wouldn't just trade off a standard deviation level. I would need some other confluence or confirmation. But let, let's just see how we react off this um, London leg. Wick. Wick, negative 2.25, bounce. <laughs> it's just so accurate. It's just baffling. Expand above, negative 3. Look, keep looking, keep looking. Where did we bounce? Perfectly at negative 4.25. Perfectly. Okay. <sighs> and then we use retracement legs or what I call LMs. A last swing before we run to an actual deviation. Negative 2.25. Negative 2.25 to the wick. Negative 4.25. Bounce perfectly off of that use that as a take profit whatever you want to do and yeah you move a little bit down you wouldn't have caught that many points but you use it as a take profit just in case you don't think you're gonna push any higher because look you push past these highs um yeah so easy bounce um i'll keep showing you guys examples you can e you can also mark out london session so here we have negative 2 up here. Does it get tapped? No. Okay. Maybe if we expanded higher, we would find a reaction. Um, but no. Even this. We have accumulation, manipulate up, 
and hit this fair value gap and then distribute down very quick you could still find a reversal level negative 2.5 absolute reversal bounce use that as a take profit it's just like it's like when I first started using these I was honestly confused how accurate they are and you know this might not work for you always okay sometimes price will run all the way even past your highest level of negative 4.5 okay don't even try and take it don't even try to react off the bounce maybe even take it higher if you want but if that doesn't really happen I would just expect price to just keep expanding um, I would look for one more level one more leg that you can mark out because these are just insane fucking crazy dude um let's see yeah let's let this market play out yeah market closes got hella asia accumulation eh, not really swing swing I'm gonna find some a few more levels to show because this is insane how easy this works. Okay, we let this whole trading day play out. Let the entire day. Okay, so we do have a manipulation right here in London session on the five minute. Eh, eh, eh. Nope, didn't get a reaction off that. Okay, did not get a reaction. Okay, we have this manipulation right here we could use this manipulation do we tick nope sorry guys I'm just trying to find this um if the legs aren't ticking that's not gonna mean Asia and London are gonna tick so you ain't gonna find no reversals okay so I'm gonna show you guys something different SOM, start of moves. You know, I really shouldn't be teaching you guys this. But SOMs, that's how some of these top tickers trade. SOMs, last swing down before you get that change in the state of delivery. Okay? SOM, negative 3.25, perfectly ticked. Perfect. You would have been able to take a trade there. And even off this fair value gap. And this rejection block. Oh my gosh, that's actually beautiful. Um, yeah, that's another level you can use. And then, if you know price is going to run to that deviation, you use your LM. Where we would want to go in the one minute, too, to use this. This price looks a little bit choppy here. Okay. Yeah, so like... LM would be this thing. Oh, ho, ho. tell me this does not work. Negative three. Perfectly. That's literally catching the top. It's catching the top, dude. You're, you'll catch. You <laughs> I have no more. I have nothing else to say. You should just work so easy. And let's say you're targeting high RR. Okay, and these standard deviations have high win rate too. If you um, use them correctly, good confirmation. Let's say enter off the rejection. I wouldn't even go into a piece of drawdown. And then just target these fucking lows, dude. 
I would actually target a higher time frame fair value gap, but that's one to nine RR. Okay. Someone please tell me this shit doesn't work. Someone, someone, please tell me. Um, yeah, so I show you guys a few levels. I hope you guys know how to mark those levels out now. I hope you guys can f see how easy this shit works. I literally went to a random day on VAR replay. It works easy. Um, yeah. See you guys next time.